I'm going to create an assembly drawing that will use balloons to reference the parts in the assembly to the bill of materials. The first step is to click on the table tab, then select the table icon, click on quick tables, and choose bomb description down. Now you're going to be prompted on where you want to place it. I'm going to place it in this bottom right hand corner. Now I'm going to make the corresponding balloons and there are a few different ways to do this. One way is by clicking on create balloons and selecting create balloons all. This will create balloons only on the main view that the projections stem from. You can move the positions of balloons by first highlighting them and then clicking on the white boxes. And also notice that when one balloon is highlighted, it is also highlighted in the bill of materials and vice versa. To clear balloons, click on the balloons tab and select clear region and then choose yes. You can also create balloons based on a view. To do this, click on create balloons and select create balloons by view. Then click on the view you want to create the balloons on. I'm going to choose this projection. And again, to get rid of the balloons, I'm going to click on the Balloons tab and click Clear Region and choose Yes. Now lastly, I will create balloons by component. So first I'm going to click on Create Balloons. Now I'm going to say Create Balloons by Component. And now you can select one or more items. So I'm just going to first select this plow and click down on the scroll wheel. And notice that the balloon was created. Now I'm going to do this again and I'm going to do multiple items. Now I'm going to create the balloons by component one more time, but this time I'm going to select the references on the model tree. And now press the scroll wheel and all the balloons are created. Now I want to clean up the way the balloons look, so first I'm going to highlight all of the balloons by clicking on them and holding control. and then I'm going to click clean up balloons. Now I'm going to change the offset from view outline from 0.8 to 1 and I'm going to check the box where it says create corresponding snap lines because I find it makes fixing the balloons easier and now you can preview what it's going to look like and I'm going to press OK. Clean up balloons does a nice job but it isn't perfect Notice how balloon number 11 is going across the entire assembly to this bottom line. I'm just going to highlight it and then move it so that it's on the top line. Another thing to keep in mind when making balloons is that you shouldn't have any of the leaders cross each other. It's typically just bad convention to do so, so try and avoid it. And now I'm just going to get rid of these construction lines. Press delete. And there you have our...